So do sunglasses make you more attractive? What kind of question is that? Is the Pope Catholic? Of course, sunglasses make you look more attractive. And in today's video, gents, I'm laying out for you the seven scientific reasons why. Reason number one, you are gonna stand out from the crowd. So pop quiz here, let me bring up a picture. Look at all the guys here. Which man do you notice? Well, they all look the same, except for that one man with the sunglasses. And that's the point, gentlemen. Sunglasses in a crowded field can help separate you from the pack. So I was reading the research of Vanessa Brown. She's a historian that studies dandies of the 18th and 19th century. Well, what she talks about, they would infiltrate parts of society to actually try to make change. So they would dress in a manner that they would somewhat fit in, but they wanted certain pieces. They wanted certain accessories that would say, you know what? There's something different about this guy. Example being the poet Oscar Wilde, who in his time period was a rock star. Here's a guy that didn't come from high level society, but he would dress in a manner to be able to influence Infiltrate. And then he would use accessories like sunglasses to basically stand aloof and to separate himself. And people would know, wait a minute, he's in here among us, but he's in his poetry and what he's writing about, he's actually trying to create change and actually transform things. Pretty powerful if you think about it. Next up, let's talk about facial symmetry. The idea here is that glasses actually bring balance to the face. A balanced face looks healthier, looks more attractive. Oftentimes, when you look at a person closely, you're going to notice one side of the face is not the same as the other. We do not find this attractive. Why? Because it talks about that person's history, their long history, that maybe as a child, they dealt with illness. Maybe when they were still inside their own mother, they actually dealt with a bit of adversity and they actually had a defect or something. All this people pick up on. So if someone's looking for a mate, someone's looking for a partner, we look for these clues that is this person actually healthy? By wearing the right pair of sunglasses, you can start to bring more symmetry to the face. And by the way, if you're wondering where did I get these awesome shades from, guys? Enemy sunglasses. I'm linking to them down in the description. This is not a sponsorship. I bought these sunglasses. My friend Aaron Marino runs this company and I support other entrepreneurs and I want you guys to go check them out. It is a great company. I can tell you these are quality shades at a great price. You're not going to find a better deal out there. You'll find more expensive shades that are basically double the price and are the same quality. So go check out the specs on his website. I got also a review I'll link to at the end of this video in which I go through all the different styles, but it's a great company. I'm proud to support them. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put a link down in the description and I'll talk to Aaron as well. I'll get a special discount code, which you will be able to use down in the description because I love what he's doing and they're great shades and I use them and absolutely love them. Next up, let's talk about hiding emotions. So, have you ever watched professional poker players? These guys are wearing sunglasses, they're wearing hats. They don't want to give away any cues, any indicators of their hand. And they understand that the other poker players are constantly reading each other. They're looking for body movements, they're looking for anything, a twitch that can somehow give away what is going on with this person. And that's the beauty of sunglasses. They create a sense of mystery. We don't know what's going on on the other side of those sunglasses. Next up, let's talk about power. Very closely related to mystery, but do you ever notice how police officers, the Secret Service, people that are in charge, they're wearing glasses. What's up with that? It's about not knowing their intentions. Very related to the whole mystery thing, but when people in power, why do they have power? Because they, you feel that they've got something on you. Somehow, they maybe it's force, maybe it's strength. You don't actually know what's going on. So, when somebody wears sunglasses, whether it's even a lifeguard, you feel, is that person watching me? Am I doing something wrong? But it is something that we do feel. People that wear sunglasses, they just give off this sense, especially the aviators, a sense of power. And next up, let's talk about the Hollywood factor. So, when you think of aviators, you think of what? A jet pilot, maybe Top Gun. When you see Wayfarers, who do we think of? Well, a wide variety of different actors, but maybe you think of uh, Jack Nicholson. In any case, we've got the whole Hollywood factor. For the last hundred years, the idea of what is cool and sunglasses have gone together. So, when you wear sunglasses, you're cool. You've got the Hollywood feel. I mean, look at the cool emoji. It's wearing sunglasses. Now, this next point was relatively new to me and this is that sunglasses can help to prevent wrinkles. And this is basically because your eyes are not going to be squinting. You're going to open up your eyes and I actually, I was able to read some of the research on this. It wasn't like to me a huge difference, but if you're starting to get wrinkles in and around the eye, basically that crow's feet, you may want to invest in some sunglasses. If you're in a sunny 
area and you're constantly exposed to a lot of sun, you want to be wearing sunglasses because you want to protect your eyes from UV rays. And I think being able to have good vision and have eyes that are not always squinting, that is attractive. And let's talk about the power to conceal. So when you're wearing sunglasses, guess what? We can't see all the things going on with your eyes. Maybe you were out partying and drinking last night. You've got the whole red eye thing going. Guess what? You can cover it up. Or you've got the baggy black, you know, right under the eye kind of thing going on. Again, you can cover it up. And I can tell you that that is a lot more attractive. Yes, you want to take care of yourself. You want to drink more water. You want to maybe use a cream on there that's going to help to get rid of that. You want to maybe not go out and party as hard. But point being, if you need to look good and you simply can get away with wearing shades, do it because you're going to be able to cover up that, yeah, that glaring uh, kind of look that you don't want to get caught in a picture. And let's talk about how glasses draw attention to the face. So, the research I read is actually based off of regular glasses and it talks about how they can draw attention to the eyes and sunglasses can do the same thing. So, if you're outside, if you're giving a presentation to a lot of people, you all of a sudden instead of squinting, all of a sudden you've got this look right here. People are going to be more likely to look at your face which is exactly what you want. You don't want them looking at the pen. You don't want them going off. You want them focused in on you and the message you're trying to get across. Now, everything I talked about, all the research guys, I will be linking to down in the description to an article that has more information. If if you're looking for. And what video to watch next? Well, guys, how about how boots make you more attractive? Yes, let's do the whole attractive thing and boots are going to make you sexier. They're going to make you better looking. I cover that in this video right here.